way to the Ice Masters Elite Tournament at the south end of Hanioi Lake. The weigh-in is at 2 o'clock and the awards are going to be at the Hanioi Grill. it's safe to be out here on a day like today where it's about 45 to 50 degrees well it's not that it takes a lot more than a 40 degree day to actually melt the ice it's been freezing cold for so long and but the cool part is that when there's an ice fishing tournament the directors of the tournaments will come out and pre-drill and they check and they go out and they use spud bars and figure out where there's safe ice and if there's any danger ice that's like too thin or or more like honeycomb which is weaker than the regular clear ice and they'll put uh, safe zones out on the area out on the water so that you don't go venturing off into places that could actually put you in harm's way <laughs> Like the fish Chautauqua? Yes. So now do you pull any of those muskies through the ice? I hooked a muskie a couple years ago. Um, the ice wasn't good the past few years so I didn't get to get to do it. That was the only time I ever had one close to the hole. That was it. Uh, last week I caught a uh, 27 inch walleye. I was gonna ask about the walleye. 27 inch walleye. First walleye I ever caught down there. Uh, they've been very elusive in the past and I've heard a lot of people catch them. And I'll drop it down there and that's my jig. See, I can bring it up. I can fine tune that jig with the gain and turn it right down till I barely want to see that. Like that. Now, now, I, now I know where I'm fishing. So when a fish comes in, you'll see a red mark. And you can tell the size of the fish too. If it's a two bar mark, it's usually a pretty good fish. But one of the things you know that without having one, like I experienced today, is I had a lot of fish come in and look at it. And I'm like, oh, there he is. And I'm sitting there trying to get, uh, get him to hit. And then they just swim away. But without it, I would never know that there was a fish there or not. There's a fish right there. The red mark was coming. Yep. Oh, uh -oh. he swam away. Oh, yeah. well, he's coming back. So you the know? lure is the green. Yep. Yeah, and and the, that, uh, that yep. red mark right here is a fish. And he's just sitting there looking at it. And then below that's the bottom. cold weather they, they're really healthy they'll live they tip ups or tip downs they take a little time to put out like we got a couple guys that just jig they'll draw a hundred holes a day right so they, they're very mobile you know they're Drilling, going, drilling, going, drilling, going. I pretty much was married to this spot all day. The wave is going to start very shortly. We have a special guest here tonight, Captain Ken Strippel. Drip, Drippo out. Captain. He also does the talk show, Let's, Let's Catch Fish, on Saturday mornings. He's going to do some video and stuff. So if you guys want to talk, talk. Pro staffers will call your bucket, number, or your name, and uh, weigh your fish for you. If they got a new leader, folks. <laughs> Still big enough. There he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. That's a good bucket. What is that? 5.30. Nice.
Oh, that is so cool. I'm not used to get anybody giving me anything, so I'm like oh, yeah. sitting there like not even know how to process it. Vote. Leo, I'm Ken. Nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet hey, you, sir. Oh, I caught him out off of a tip up. Yeah? Yep. Yep, with a sucker. With a, a sucker? Yep. How big was, how big was the sucker? Four inches. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty cool. Were you Use them in all these things. We, for walleye? Yep. So you use yep, walleye pike love them. I know pike, yep. but I did not think that the walleye would be going after the suckers. Oh, I guess. absolutely. Huh. Yep. I, yeah, I fish the lake in Cooper Sound, and same thing there, the walleye. We go after lake trout with suckers, and the walleye will go right after the suckers. So you were using it on tip up? Yep. And so just flag line, just go. Yep. tip up? How long of a fight? Um, uh, 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Yep. First place pan fish. Biggest weight I've seen in a long time for six fish. Uh, 5.30 pounds for Robin Taylor. Yeah, Robin. First place pays $300 today, guys. Wow. Nice job, Robin. Nice. Yeah, buddy. Okay. I'm not that good, Miss Just say weight. 4.10 pound pickle. Yeah. 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 Yeah.